Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Well, as you can see, it's pouring rain. So we're gonna do a little bit of a mail unboxing. Let's crack it open, see what's inside, and just maybe I can catch a bass with something in the box. All right, we got this box here from David in Jenks, Oklahoma. Let's cut this baby open. Let's see what's inside. We have a letter. The letter reads, Alex, enjoy your content. Keep up the good work. Please feel free to use the enclosed lures or pay them forward. Keep it realistic. All right. Since he mentioned giving some away, we'll probably do that. Let's see what's in the box. All right, looks like we have a bunch of stuff in here. Let's take a look. Here's the first item. Ozark Trail Hammer Hog. This is an Alabama Craw. This is kind of like a uh, brush hog. The Walmart copy of a brush hog. Next item from the box. Cabin Creek Lures Small Craws. There's not much information about this, but I have used this before with success. This is actually a pretty good craw. Cabin Creek. Here we have a package of Yum Dingers. Five inch dingers in smoke pearl. Yeah, those look pretty good. Here's a package of Finesse TRDs in blue craw. Don't let these touch your other soft plastics. Here we have a pack of Strike King Super Toads in green pumpkin chartreuse belly. That's a good looking frog, toad. Here's a package of Sixth Sense Ned Fry in green pumpkin. They look like ribbed senkos or stick baits. It's pretty cool. Here's a pack of Lucky John Mr. Greedy s and Formula. So I guess it's shrimp flavored. It's like a swim bait. Here's another sixth sense lure. We have the Vega Frog. Good looking black frog here from Sixth Sense. And we have a little mini tackle box with a few crankbaits inside. Looks like there's a jerk bait, a square bill, a lipless crankbait, and a couple of spinners. Here's a pack of Strike King Rage Swimmers, 4.75 inch. Good looking swim baits there. This one is called the Strike King Rage Ned Bug. So that looks like a little Strike King soft plastic and it comes with a Ned style jig head. Here's a box with some jigs inside. Some regular jigs, some bladed jigs. Here's another tackle box with an assortment of worms. We got some stick worms, some ribbon tail worms, and some finesse worms in different colors. And that's it. I'm Tammy from Texas and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. I'd like to give a shout out and thank you to David from Jenks, Oklahoma. Since David was such a nice guy, we're gonna give away the following. A Six Sense Vega Frog. Good looking bait. A package of Strike King Super Toads. This pack of Strike King Rage Swimmers. And this package of Yum Dingers. All you gotta do to be entered into this giveaway is leave a comment below, like the video, and make sure you're subscribed. And I'll pick a winner in a future video. Thanks again, David, for the box full of lures and the giveaway. Good luck to everyone. It is pouring out here, but I think I'm gonna throw on my raincoat and give it a try anyway. Maybe, just maybe, 
I can catch something. All right, let's start out with a plastic worm, shall we? Let's see what we have in here. We got some green pumpkin, maybe some red. These look like culprits. Yeah, we'll go with the red culprit. Let's see if we can get a bite. We're gonna fish this on a Texas rig with a 2 watt EWG. I was hoping the rain would let up by the time I was done with my unboxing, but boy was I wrong. We're still gonna do it. Let's see if we can get one on the red culprit in the rain. I'm just slowly swimming it, hopping it off the bottom, waiting for that tap tap. Oh yeah, oh yeah, first catch of the day, largemouth bass, caught on the culprit worm, sent into the show. Yeah, not a bad little bass, quarter pounder with cheese, maybe a little bit heavier, but pretty much a quarter pounder with cheese. One for that ribbon tail worm, the red culprit sent into the show. We're catching fish on subscriber lures today in the rain. Let's let them go. This is Brian from Guy with the GoPro Fishing Show and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Yeah, second cast. That was pretty awesome. Pitched it right there alongside the metal grate. Bang, got a bite. Let's try this side of the dock. Oh, that was a bite. They let go. Will they come back? We'll get it back down there. Just maybe. Oh, you know, it could be some small fish. It could be something small. I thought I felt it again. I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little jumpy now. Come on, we got to get this fish. I think it's a fish. I really do. Not sure, but I think so. fish. Got him. Wow. Okay. That's a little bit better. Yeah, got him this time. Here we go. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Now we're looking at about a half pound. Once again, culprit worm. This fish may have bit the lure more than once. I thought I was feeling some bites. Kept trying. Got this guy right here. Let's let him go. My bait has walked up the line in true Texas rig fashion. That means we can probably fish it again. 
long as it's not torn, I'll keep using it over and over again. Looks good to me. Let's keep going. See if there's any more over here at the boat ramp. That's one good thing about fishing on a rainy day. If you don't mind getting soaked, there probably won't be anyone else out there. I'm Steve from Bass and Grass YouTube channel, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Wow, this ground is soggy. I'm going to cast from back here, just in case there are some shallow fish. I don't want to scare them away by walking right up on them. fish all right last fish of the day right here another quarter pounder with cheese got him on the red culprit yeah here he is last fish of the day fish number three on the red culprit worm sent into the show awesome it's still raining I'm soaked but I'm happy to get a third fish even though it's just a QP with cheese. Let's let it go and get out of here. Three fish day. I might be soaked, but I'm happy with a three fish day. Well, that's it for today, boys and girls. I think I did all right. I got three bass on the red culprit worm that was sent into the show. Make sure you leave a comment if you want to be entered to win today's giveaway. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.